My name is Dr. Irene Fiza. I'm a founder and president of the American company Wave Genoma LLC, incorporated in the state of Connecticut in uh, 2010. Very successful company. Uh, what we do is uh, research and development uh, and production and marketing of the bioelectronic devices uh, based upon my fundamental theory of wave optics uh, in chromosomes which I have created in 1995, much uh, prior to anybody in this field of biohallography. The topic of my talk is neural biohallography as remote management of neural wave objects by refraction in the neural scale wave diffraction grating. So I hope uh, some of you have uh, listened to my uh, keynote speech yesterday at the keynote forum. My uh, theory is uh, wave objects uh, in chromosomes and refraction code by holography technology. And the point with this uh, theory and technology is that at the moment of the fourth industrial, so-called fourth industrial revolution, the major issue is to link together physics and biology. The cause for this is that the underlying reason for the so-called fourth industrial revolution is the remote global psychotronic mind control which is impossible to implement without physics applied to biology. So that um, uh, we have two phenomena together, Neuralink and uh, Starlink. Starlink is the system of satellites on low orbits and Neuralink is uh, the system of implanted uh, chips. The program of transhumanism is uh, precisely the mind control via erasing, downloading and uploading memories, personalities and controlling the brain directly from the satellites, bypassing the system of national state telecommunication system and even the discretion of a specific citizen. That's why the urgency to expand to this kind of intrusive mind control, this urgency and responsibility lies upon every neuroscientist. And the major concept is uh, the concept of singularity that is offered. And the singularity that is offered by transhumanists is the synthetic singularity, meaning that it is uh, virtual, artificial, and arbitrary. To the contrary to this concept, I offer a completely different concept of singularity, which is a natural singularity as a quantum locality, which doesn't depend upon any space and time and unconditional. So it is the unconditional, unlimited access to quantum locality that any human has just by his birth. So the global agenda, as I said, is the merger of the physics, biology, cybernetics um, in the form of the intrusive, aggressive uh, mind control. To respond to this kind of agenda, we need to offer a new theory, a new fundamental theory. Otherwise, we will not be able to confront this kind of uh, danger. And this uh, theory should be precisely the new physics uh, theory, the fundamental theory of everything. And we need to assess uh, the physics that uh, is lying as a foundation for the so-called Great Reset by Klaus Schwab or by uh, the World Economic Forum. This response should uh, assess the danger of synthetic uh, telepathy and synthetic uh, biology, which are, as I said, intrusive and aggressive by uh, read and write access to human mind. And it goes uh, from uh, hardware to software, trying to correct or alter the hardware of the brain while they are downloading some software through so-called Internet of Bodies. In biology, it, this corresponds to synthetic biology by Jennifer Doudna, CRISPR-Cas9, which is precisely described by her as some kind of um, program, like a word processor, that can rewrite the genetic code. This even true when the modification goes by a client's own genetic material. We still have the genetically modified organisms. And as we know, genetically modified organisms are sterile. And not only sterile, they are genetically and cognitively degraded. So degraded cognitively because chromosomes are degraded. These uh, organisms are sterile precisely because uh, their chromosomes are degraded, they lose their genetic uh, structure, their geometry. So that we can say the sterilized imbeciles is the true meaning of Jennifer Doudna's uh, Nobel Prize. 
The computer science operates with the binary codes. While we live in the infinitely dimensional reality, which is describable only by quantum physics. And this uh, universe that we live in, the infinite and eternal universe, uh, is built upon holographic principle, which states that the universe is entirely in its every matrix point. So uh, no Ray Kurzweil can grant us uh, the digital uh, eternal life, since we are already eternal. This also means that being infinite, human mind is not compatible with the machine, which is finite. And this, of course, means that when Elon Musk called the human mind feline in comparison with the artificial intellect, he had probably referred just to his own mind. And in his experiment with monkeys, out of 17 monkeys, 13 monkeys died when being implanted with brain chips. So we can definitively say that the physics which underlies Klaus Schwab's Great Reset is a complete failure. And the new developments of the CRISPR-Cas9 methodology include precisely the implication of physics to biology, chemogenetics, optogenetics, and magnetogenetics. Nonetheless, these developments are simply the outdated USSR technology, electromagnetic technology, which does not offer true enhancement. Simply the narrow range short-term neural stimulation and modulation and cannot go beyond conditional reflexes and compartmentalization of the brain. So instead of providing neural enhancement, synthetic remote telepathy causes neural degeneration. And we need to assess this frequency resonance electromagnetic field technology in the molecular neuroscience. Because USSR did it, this technology 50 years ago and the West just came to this technology, so they are much uh, behind. So synthetic biology such as CRISPR-Cas9 and synthetic telepathy such as magnetogenetics do not account for the every part of the human body as a systematic whole. The holographic principle applies to a chromosome as much as to a galaxy and the holographic principle says that the universe is entirely in its every matrix point. And if the systematic whole is entirely in its every part, then the communication between parts and the communication between a part and the whole is simultaneous and uh, instantaneous and remote and does not actually need some biochemical pathways. And deciphering this mechanism of this uh, instantaneous and remote communication within human brain and human body in general is true path to regeneration, long life, and true cognitive and physical enhancement of a human being. And it is known that humans' effectiveness in general and brain's effectiveness in particular manifests itself in the more coherence and symmetry of brain's oscillations in all brain wave spectra simultaneously and in all the symmetrical zones of hemispheres. Also, it is known that brain's effectiveness depends upon the absence of the structural damage in chromosomes in the brain. And cognitive deterioration increases with the increase of the structural damage in chromosomes and in general with the increase of chromosome instability and uh, aneuploidy, chromosomal gain or loss. The structural damage in chromosome, chromosome instability and aneuploidy cause the neuronal Damage. Nonetheless, there was no fundamental theory explaining the loss of the chromosomal instability affected neurons. Now let me introduce my fundamental theory of wave optics and chromosomes, which explains the loss of structurally damaged neurons on the chromosomal level. Between cell division cycles, chromatin exists in the chaotic state within the nucleus. But during the cell division, uh, chromatin literally crystallizes, forming two chromatids. And these two chromatids uh, form a chromosome. And depending upon the geometry of the chromosome, uh, cell division uh, goes correctly or incorrectly. On the left, acrocentric chromosome, and on the right, metacentric chromosome. Metacentric chromosome is analogous to the well-centered and well-focused eye crystal. And the acrocentric chromosome, which is uh, literally half of the metacentric chromosome, is analogous to the far-sighted or near-sighted eye out of focus. Ability of chromosome to exchange information depends upon geometry and if this geometry is violated, the chromosome loses its ability to regenerate and replicate. So the same gene and apes 
gets expressed by the acrocentric chromosome, and the same gene in humans gets expressed by the metacentric chromosome. The same gene gets expressed in the wild horses by acrocentric chromosome, and in the domestic Kitted horses via metacentric chromosome. Children with Down syndrome differ from normal children via the presence of extra acrocentric chromosome. Only because female gender chromosome is metacentric, females are capable of giving childbirth. And only because the male gender chromosome is acrocentric, males are incapable of replicating. We see on the left the acrocentric degenerative and dysfunctional male gender chromosome, and on the right, we see metacentric regenerative and functional female chromosome. Clearly, the acrocentric chromosome is the result of the destruction of the metacentric chromosome. We can see that true enhancement, neural enhancement, can be done only by the restoration of the chromosomes, of the shape of the chromosome. So my company offers the technology that precisely restores the chromosomes, the geometry of chromosome. The technology is based upon the creation of the generators of the form, large size like medical beds in the digital form, which are digital files, by electronic devices and electrode based technology. Electrodes are materials which hold the electron structure and you can modulate this electron structure when the electrodes go from the liquid crystal form to the solid crystal form. The technology is based upon the scalar wave and the creation of the scalar wave diffraction grating and modulating the scalar wave diffraction grating with the refraction codes. And nobody spoke about scalar waves in this sense. So my technology is based, as I said, upon my theory of wave optics in chromosomes. Wave optics and the scalar wave diffraction grating. So this is uh, the scaling of the scalar wave diffraction grating, which goes at infinitum to the macro dimensions and micro dimensions, and this explains the ability of scalar wave diffraction grating to remotely and instantaneously transmit the signal independently of uh, time and space. And here is the devices that my company had recently uh, released. Uh, first, we see here the med bed, which is called RAS Arcopagus. It consists of uh, two exactly calibrated lenses, concave lenses, activated by the green laser, which produces the impulse coherent signal. In the focus of the first lens is the focus of the skull of the client, and in the focus of the second lens is the a green laser which creates the scalar wave uh, which is modulated by the biophilographic pharmacy. My company creates the biophilographic pharmacy. So, as you see, uh, the client is not uh, subjected to the laser immediately. And because these uh, two lenses have the exact refraction code in the quantum null locality, they constitute one and the same systematic whole. The information goes um, instantaneously and remotely from one lens to another lens. And the other device I would like to show you is the so-called RA helmet, which is uh, again the device which creates the skill wave and uh, the modulations of the skill wave uh, for the uh, neural enhancement and protection from the psychotronic attacks. Thank you very much for your attention.